Hello everyone. The ban list effective February 13th, 2023 is upon us. Uh, this is the ban list of all time. Uh, destroys the tier zero meta threat to elements. Uh, and does a lot of other stuff too, I suppose. Um, this released today, but I'm releasing it tomorrow. Uh, and it's, well, actually, I guess it's just past 12 now. Uh, so I guess it's actually tomorrow already. Um, uh, I didn't, I'm not, not getting this out as at the same time as everyone else. I'm, I've already seen it too, so it's not even a blind reaction. But I do have some thoughts on it that I wanted to talk about. Uh, cause this is, this is a big list. This is actually a pretty big list, despite my, uh, little, little joke there. A little joke about how impactful it is. Um, it is a pretty big list. Um, and so I wanted to get some thoughts out, uh, unscripted, of course. You can tell it's unscripted. Um, so you're getting kind of the best of both worlds here at this point. Uh, but yeah, uh, first, I guess let's start with the Forbidden List since I already have that up. Artifact Scythe and Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds are gone. Um, I've seen MBT's video where he talks about, uh, these being what keeps uh, some of the contenders on the other side up, like keeps them in the meta. Um, and while I guess that is the case, I think toxic cards should just be gone. And I think he agrees as well. So I'm just glad to see these guys gone. Artifact Scythe uh, was very bad before tier limit format and will would have continued to be bad after tier limit format. So I'm glad to see it gone. Uh, Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds, I have played it a number of times. I'll I, 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 was, I was playing it very much uh, on Master Duel as well. Uh, can't play it anywhere now, but good. Good. This shouldn't be played. This is a boring-ass card. Get rid of it. I'm very glad to see it go. In the arms of an angel, fly away. <laughs> uh, Telemet's Kit Kalos is uh, probably the biggest problem card besides Pellerino. Um, so I'm glad to see one of the two of them gone. Um, maybe it would have been better to have Pellerino gone, but, uh, I'll take Kit Kalos for sure. Absolutely. 100%. Um, and then Sprite Elf. So I understand why Sprite Elf, because Sprite Elf is just a busted card. Um, it's just generically good. It, it's good in so many different decks even Tyr can play it. Even it does play it. And so it's just got to go eventually. It, there was going to come a day where it would have to go. And I think you can argue that day should have been before it was printed. <laughs> it was always going to be a problem. Everyone knew it was always going to be a problem. Uh, and despite the fact that it enables some cool things, like my Reptile Sprite list, which I guess you can go watch the video now for posterity's sake. It's a dead list. It doesn't work without Sprite Elf. Um, you know, despite that, uh, I think it's good it's gone. Um, I think, does this also kill my Ojama list? I don't remember if my, I don't think my Ojama list required Sprite Elf for combo. I don't think it did. It's like annoying to not have it. But uh, we can live. <laughs> Tell you what, though, Sprite's going to have a bad time. Um, but, you know, with tier limit hits so hard, maybe it won't be such a bad time, actually. Because here's the limited list. This limited list is crazy. It is just the absolute smackdown on tier limits. We have limited every single playable monster. I think there's a couple of tier limits that aren't on here. Uh, which are mainly the ones that don't have the fusion effect. So to play tier limits, pure, because I, I, there's lots of ways you can splash tier limits into things like branded and other fusion strategies like it. To play tier limits pure now, you're going to have to run like tier limits cash tier, which I believe was already being run, tier limits scare claw, which or was, is there no? I'm thinking of the cash tier scare claw. Never mind. I, there's there's tier limits cash tira. Uh, I don't remember. I I didn't play tier limits, so I don't remember if there's anything else that they have. But yeah, no, I think it's crazy. This is this is 
something we haven't seen done historically in a long time. Like dragon rulers? And even then, this is huge. This is a huge one. Um, Age of Fairy is off the list, by the way. Age of Fairy Dragon uh, has had its errata, so it is uh, basically fine to come off the list. Um, it's going to have some interesting stuff. There's some interesting things it can do with Dark World. Um, but uh, for a reason I'm going to talk about later, maybe not uh, going to be great still, even then. Uh, and then the Unlimited. Um, we have Unlimited Destrudo. Uh, uh, mm, not a fan of Destrudo being off the list. I... I don't like the way Destrudo plays, but it hasn't really done that much yet, so maybe it's fine. Uh, Jet Synchron and Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion are questionable. I think there's an argument both ways for having them on or off. Uh, I know obviously the biggest problem was having them on with Halk, but I still think that these cards by themselves are playable enough that even without Halk, maybe there's an argument to keep them on the list. But uh, obviously, we're not keeping them on the list, so let's see what happens, I guess. Servant of Endymion is off the list. Cool. Uh, True King Lithosagem, the disaster, is off the list. Let's go, Dinos. I don't think we're playing this, though. Uh, like, what are you gonna. I was thinking about what you make off of Lithosagem. Obviously, Lithosagem is good for popping babies, but we have so many ways to pop babies in Dinosaur now that I just don't think it's necessary. So the only question is, what are we using that level 9 monster for? That's, like, the real issue here. And, like, VFD is banned. So we're not making VFD anymore. Obviously. There is that new Virtual World card that's coming, Virtual World Tiger. And that's a possibility. It has... It's, like, a weak VFD. It's, like, a very bad VFD. Um, But you get... To get make it worth getting two out on field to make it? I don't think so, you know? Uh, and then we have going the synchro route into Baron. Uh, if you if you get out Drac Aelolo, uh, you can make Baron. And I think there's potential there. Using True King Lithosagem and Drac Aelolo to make Baron is something. But I'm not sure if it's optimal in Dinosaur. There's so many other things to do. So, I just don't know about playing it in Dinosaurs. Um, even at three. And you have to draw it, too. That's the other thing. There's, it, you, you draw it or uh, diagram. And diagram's at one. So, you play diagram and terraforming and set rotations for the Lost World? I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, then, of course, Yadagarasu is off, and Spiral Resort is off, and Spiral Resort is fine as long as we don't get Master Plan, so who cares? Um, but the thing I really want to talk about, though, the thing I really want to talk about, the thing I really want to talk about, where's the Bistials? The Bistials have been the worst part of the format by far. Where are they? I think, I think that Konami is trying to see if this change the format off of um, tier zero tier limits will make the Bistials not as ubiquitous as, as, as decks that aren't dark and light enter the format again. I still think they're pretty dang strong and maybe should have been hit just a little bit, at least. So yeah, I suppose if you've got a deck that you really want to play that doesn't have any lights and darks, it's the right time to do it. It's the right time for it. I'm, th I'm certainly considering Speedroid. And with the... Uh, with Kashira Unicorn maybe coming down in price after the hype from Kashira kind of comes down a little bit. But then again, Kashira didn't get hit pretty much at all by this list. I think I think um I think that the barrier statue hit 
hits Kashtira, like a specific build of Kashtira, but not a very popular build. So Kashtira might actually be more popular than ever, and then the price of Unicorn goes up. But then again, I haven't really done a lot of paper play recently. Um, I don't know, it's been... Uh, <laughs> there's been something keeping me out of the format. <laughs> I think it's the dollar signs around uh, it's the tier limit cards. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, tier limit format is uh, gone. It's just gone. I mean, people are still gonna play tier limit. Absolutely, it's just not gonna be tier limit format anymore. Uh, but they're gonna find something to do. They're gonna find something to do with it. Absolutely. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. What do you think about the van list and all that kind of stuff? Um, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and have a wonderful rest of whatever time it is for you. Bye.